All right, guys, I broke down and I watched Love is Blind. My girlfriend, it was her idea. And then I was like, okay, this show kind of goes crazy. So let's react. I hope this is just season six. Yeah, it looks like just season six. Back to some of the, the good moments with some context. If love is blind, Amber, do you take clay for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, all of your days? I do. Clay, do you take Amber to live together in a union of marriage? Hey, D, I love you. I don't think it's responsible. Just call her Amber. Possible for me to say I do? What? I know fully I'm not ready for marriage. You're a stupid. I don't know if you can hear Sadie drinking water. <laughs> but, um. Why are people surprised that he said no? I saw a lot of people being surprised. He literally laid breadcrumbs. Every conversation they had, he's like, I'm not ready to be married. I am not ready to be married. I am not ready to be married. I'm going to cheat on you. I'm going to cheat on you. And then he says no at the altar, and everyone's like, what? How did he? Bro. Man, a stupid, stupid man. And if I'm not ready to give that 100%, I won't. Why does it matter, like, with this, with the timeline? Why does that matter? I will send you to Jesus. Well, yeah, he should have broken up. He should have broken up with her before the wedding. Are we going to get married? Where you're at? Bruh. I do see a life with you. I see you being an amazing husband, amazing dad. I feel more secure and confident in moving forward with you. Okay. I love you to death, and I, I want <laughs> us to work so bad. Right? You sure about that? What? I don't want to go to the altar. Nani? You're set on not going. I'm set on not going. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. How did she think that they were gonna end up together? I've seen interviews of her saying like. Oh, we loved each other way more than the show displayed us. I get it. You can do a lot with editing. But then I also hear interviews of her saying, like, he's lying to her, going out, going to parties, going out with his friends and saying he's asleep. That's not a relationship that you're going to get married on. Especially, like, it's something you could get over maybe and get married in the long run. But if it's like one, it's like one month or whatever. No, it's not gonna happen. You guys fight way too much and you barely know each other. Not that I know that's the point of the show to get married to someone you barely know, but like you fight so much and you barely know each other, it's not gonna work out. And when you're not really fine. I feel like you've known you were gonna say no this entire time and you just wasted my time. So did all of America. You told me two weeks ago you thought that I didn't love you. And then I took a step back and said, I'm willing to try because I love you that much. Huh? I want you to be good to her. Nope. I get nervous around you. I told you I've never dated anybody that's even remotely like you. I'm willing to try because I love you that much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Let's be honest. He saw Jess and she was like, he was like, she's hotter than Chelsea. If I can get Jess before I'm famous, then after this show, I'm about to be able to date such a hot girl. Because he, that's all he's thinking about. Kelsey, you're a very nice person, it seems. I'll leave it at that. Doesn't look like Megan. Okay. So you saying, like, I love you, but not enough. Before that damn argument, I was so sad. Okay, before you lied to me, before you called me clingy. Honestly, you've been a little clingy. For you did everything to me that I've gone through the ringer for for you. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't. He shouldn't have said she was clingy, but like she's acting like that's the worst thing that he's done. He's done way worse stuff than that. Like calling you clingy, you are clingy. He shouldn't say it, but you are. It's but he's done way worse stuff than that. I can't tell you things that hurt my feelings because you get so upset. You said hurtful comments made me feel uncomfy. Okay, so just take we'll it. Did she say uncomfy? <laughs> Uncomfy. Upset? You said hurtful comments made me feel uncomfy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Like crying and then like <laughs> saying uncomfy. Oh, you said something that was really mean and I got kind of uncomfy. So just take we'll it. <laughs> take hey. a step back from hanging out with girlfriends but if that's what you want. Do you want me to take a step back? Get ready for the bar. Of course I do, and okay. I told you I'm that. not willing to take a step back. Do you oh. not think that I care about you? You don't. <laughs> if I've you think I'm full of <laughs> everything I've told you, I don't care to be with you either. It's not gonna work, Chelsea. Okay. 
Like when he said that, that was like the most down to earth. It's not gonna work, Chelsea. And then she still thought that it was gonna work. Please help me. Have you met our strongest couple? Yeah, that makes me. We're down there. Maybe. You don't think we are? No. Nope. And then he is so childish for like she said the strongest couple, and he's like, "What we are? No, we even though like in his head he knew they weren't even gonna get married at this point. I'm sure." And Johnny and Amy like didn't fight the whole show. I mean, I think we're they like made up a fake fight about Johnny and Amy, but maybe they'll talk about them on this show. Right behind us. Awesome. Little this video. I told you out of confidence about one of my friends that I had prior relationship with. You threw that in my <laughs> face. Because you guys text and you call all day. It made me feel a certain type of way. That was up. less recent than your ex-boyfriend that you still hang out with. I don't well, we call him and I don't hang out with him. The first night that we him. got engaged and we got our phones back, you FaceTimed him. I said we have a mutual friendship. <laughs> You just what's a mutual friendship is a friendship not mutual i think if it's not mutual then it's not a friendship she's just trying to add words to make it seem like more casual but she's still friends with her ex that's what that situation is he's friends with someone that he used to bang that he banged one time or maybe more i don't know but they never dated they're both not not great flags to see in someone that you just met and you're supposed to marry like tomorrow. Like continue to burn things out that like I'm embarrassed I'm of. I'm really sorry that I brought it up on cameras when you asked me not to, to protect your reputation, but it was my feelings. It isn't my reputation, it's hers that I care about. I think it's an excuse. It's, it's not an They brought this fight up on the reunion and it was still fresh. Like they still aren't in agreement. And yeah, I agree. If you tell someone that you think you can trust because you're supposed to be marrying them something and say, please don't tell America, I'm telling you this, they shouldn't share it no matter how angry they get. But Chelsea's going to Chelsea. It's cute. You wanted to pull back because I was the one who always wanted to have sex with you and you didn't want to do that. When did I say that? The night you called me. Gaslighting Jimmy. Classic. Clingy. I cooked I'm, you. I'm saying Jimmy's gaslighting dinner and then went upstairs and had sex with you you're the one that wanted to have sex I also did. maybe wanted a little breather from that too. you got drunk and said that i do not want to be here <laughs> so funny to say I uh, he's like as he's saying it, he realizes how bad it's about to come across God, his hair looks so bad but it, how bad it's gonna come across he's like maybe i crap i already started wanted a breather <laughs> It broke my trust to you the deepest broke degree. My trust. I didn't so tell bad. the world your deepest, darkest secrets. Your deepest, darkest secrets is <laughs> your friend. Continue to remind me why I'm making the right decision. I would say that's a big secret, probably, but not something you can keep from your really. But again, he he did tell her. He just said, "Don't tell the world." Y'all, the devil be out here trying to win off technicalities. Boy, bye. I just didn't think. By the way, what YouTube channel is this? Because I love their rent free. All right. Subscribe to rent free. Subscribe. You know what? I'll subscribe to them. You know what, you guys? You earned it. Love the fast editing. I have no attention span. Johnny would be terrified of having kids. I got listen, listen, we're waiting it out a little bit. Together. We're going to buy the car without the test drive. Ain't no way! That's love. love. It's deeper than love. That girl is too spicy. She <laughs> that man. I'm not buying a car if I don't get a test drive. So, good for her. I don't know. I think that also explains maybe why Clay didn't end up going with AD. Like she thinks it's impossible for someone to abstain. I thought they were too, but like if someone says it to my face, I'm not gonna like question them. Like it's possible to abstain from sex before you get married. It seemed the fact that it's such a far out there concept to AD maybe says some about like why her and Clay didn't work out. I see a beautiful life, a beautiful future with Clay. It's the biggest decision that I, I'm gonna have to make, but I'm ready for it. I became such a better man dealing with you through this whole process. I mean, the way I did grow up with my father, yeah. I've seen like cheating as a regular thing. Huh? My mom and dad were like best friends, mm -hmm. but infidelity was a thing. And like my dad would take me with him to yeah, some yeah. of his infidelity yeah. trips. Father of the year. So to this day, like my mom had, doesn't even know some of the trips that I went on yeah. with my dad. Yeah. Like I'm so happy. Bro, if, if your mom doesn't know something, if you've been keeping something from your mom that's this big, and when she's going to find out is when you go on Netflix, what are you doing, bro? 
she knows now there's actually a scene where his, his mom's talking to dad like there's some stuff i didn't know about you were taking our freaking son on trips to cheat on me no wonder clay keeps talking about how he like runs track and used to run train also happy that we're here you are a safe space for me you are a home for me i see things in you that maybe you don't see those are things that i want to continue to nourish for you now it's time to decide if love is blind amber do you take clay for rich or for poor in sickness and in health all of your days i do clay do you take amber to live together in a union of marriage ad i love you i don't think it's responsible for me to say i do what I know fully I'm not ready for marriage. You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! And if I'm not ready to give that 100%, I won't. Why does it matter, like, with, this, with the time? Why does that matter? I will send you to Jesus. Don't do that. I'm just never enough. Like, it's never. You're always enough. I mean, don't go to Netflix to try to find love. If, if you're really in that spot, I understand the people that did it for clout. Clay seems like he probably did it for clout. Matt, Trevor, maybe on there for clout. Jeremy. Jeremy was literally married or engaged. But if you're really looking for love, don't go on this show, bro. The other person is never enough. I looked at myself in the mirror and said, am I a husband? And the answer was no. Am I in deeply in love? The answer was no. Those are two things. If you can't say yes to those answers, why are you getting married? You wouldn't want me saying yes and being half-assed with marriage. You wouldn't want that. It just breaks my heart seeing you like this because I love you. I really do. Can I get a hug? I'm sorry, dude. AD, I'm telling you, like, I'm gonna put the work in. I'm gonna go to therapy, all that stuff. I feel kind of like a sacrifice. You learned so much about yourself. Yeah, yeah, like, I get that. You used me to, like, do it. Save. I wasn't enough Stop. for him to, like, get right. I can't drag him. I can't force him, and I'm not gonna <laughs> fucking beg him. Fucking <laughs> pick me. <laughs> I'm done. I guess for me, I didn't understand the magnitude. Well, yeah, it's over of the decision. I just feel stupid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was dumb. Stupid. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't regret saying yes to him. I don't see myself continuing to date him. You don't want to pick me. I genuinely feel bad for her. At least she's got a great mom that can help her through this stuff. If somebody else will. I'm done. My heart is like broken. Life could be worse. No, not really. I did see some comments, some crazy stuff on TikTok where Clay, one of Clay's friends was commenting on their photos saying like, the real reason Clay said no is that AD has a sugar daddy. She's not actually a real estate agent, which I kind of thought when she said real estate agent, I was like, you're not selling no houses. He said, there's no proof of her ever selling a house anywhere online. She don't have no pictures with selling, it helps help someone close on a house. And so that was like why he said the shaky finances thing. That's more than shaky if she's got a whole sugar daddy, bro. And the, apparently the sugar daddy approached them outside the club one time and was like, bro, you need to leave her. Like, it's not it. After the show. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found my best friend that I get to spend the rest of my life with. I've always dreamed of having a fairy tale wedding and I just, it's beyond like what I dreamed of. I'm sure that Johnny is the one that I'm gonna marry. I'm ready to get, give me to the altar, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if it's one specific thing that made me fall in love with Amy. She was fun loving, she matched my energy. She's very dedicated towards like her career, her family. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Gorgeous. For in a million years did I ever imagine that I would fall in love with it. Love you too, baby. <laughs> I'm excited for what's next. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's cheers to that. Now is the time to decide if love is blind. If all the couples were like Johnny and Amy, wholesome people, wholesome love, the show would suck. Shout out to them though, happy for Amy, do you promise to do your very best to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. Johnny, do you promise to do your very best to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. It is my honor to now pronounce you man and wife. Seal your vows with a tip. <laughs> Oh. 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 I'm all cried out, I swear I can't I can't cry anymore. I'm so grateful to have found my person. When we first came down to it, I was like, hey, you're out of my league. I wouldn't even count you in a bar. I would have been like just so just like <gasps> Love is blind. Love is blind. <laughs>
we, we had some tough moments, but I, I really wish they would show a little bit more of these happy moments. There was a reason we were fighting so much. There was a reason we were staying together. I had a reason. What, had what a was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I, reason? I, just, explained. I just explained the reason. What was the reason? <laughs> We have such a strong, strong relationship that's not shown at all. There's so many moments of why I was feeling the way I was feeling that are just not shown. And I wish that they did. Wait, is that Megan Fox? Okay. A lot of the okay. things we talked about came out of her being insecure. And that moment we were in the kitchen was speaking my truth in that moment. There's a thousand ways to, to put it better, but I shouldn't have said it to that degree oh really i was getting told what i wanted to hear and i was getting these words that he thought i wanted to hear but i wasn't getting his actions to match his words yeah, no that's valid but like we all saw that in the little bit of stuff that we saw on the show we could read that easily Honey. Moral of the story, love is not blind. You need to meet the person and talk to them before you get engaged. It's pretty easy. Also, they didn't mention Kenneth and the other girl because that was like the weirdest breakup. They were like the most wholesome and love couple. And then the producers, all the editing was just them just sitting there in silence like crickets. And then they got home and he was just not interested in her anymore. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like it. I would appreciate it. Leave comments on some other videos I should react to. All right. Love you guys. Peace.